We as anesthesia providers, we have to provide, a, you know, somewhat of a value-added proposition for our customers. So who are our customers? Obviously the patient, the surgeon, in, in a place like this, the administrators. Um, you know, some of these places have choices, okay? So, so basically, you have to take an active interest. You can't just show up to work every day and, you know, give a stick of propofol and put an endotracheal tube in and then send the patients on their merry way and expect that someone else can't do a better job than you. Because if you're not taking a global approach, if you're not becoming a perioperative medicine doctor uh, in this day and age, if, if you're not thinking about pre-op, post-op, and, and how to manage these patients and how to make them happier, then you're, you might be obsolete in the next few years. General anesthesia we can do fairly safe and a lot of anesthesiologists are fairly comfortable doing this. Uh, the answer usually for why they don't do regional anesthesia is my patients do fine after surgery. They are, have their pain controlled uh, fairly well with uh, by mouth or IV narcotics or a pain control uh, by a PCA or a pain button. Uh, this, in, in this day and age, uh, we should strive for excellence, not that our patients are doing fine. We want our patients to do well. Um, this, is, this allows us for our patients to do well, uh, not just okay. Okay is not our, our, our goal. We want to aim for uh, the highest possible satisfaction and uh, uh, patient satisfaction as well as safety. I love what I do. I love all the aspects of anesthesia. It's good stuff. But this is new. This is exciting. It's cutting edge. I mean, this is, it's exciting to go to work for me now. What they've found is that we're a very solid group now, and the hospital administration uh, is less likely to change their anesthetic providers, uh, because now we can provide a gamut of everything, pediatrics, cardiac, ICU care, and pain management. I see this culture change becoming a fact of life. This is going to be normal treatment for pain. I really would wish that uh, more regional anesthesia would be practiced because the benefits are so obvious and really we could probably save a lot of money in healthcare when we um, would practice more regional anesthesia.